What's up, cowboys and cowgirls? Another day, another fun time. We're gonna talk boots. So boots are a big part of my life. I wear them every single day, not because I necessarily want to, but because I have to. It's life, it's work. So we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about boots I have, their purpose, why I have them, why I use them, what I use them for, all that kind of stuff. So let's get into it. So we're going to talk about my first pair. So this is my first pair, the riding boots. So these are traditional, more pointed round toe, bigger riding heel. And what's not traditional is it's got rubber instead of leather on the bottoms. But these boots I've had quite some time now. I picked them up at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. They are the Laredo Birchwood, which have got milk all over them. They've got poop all over them. They've got dirt all over them. They've got all kinds of stuff all over them. It's pretty, pretty awesome. I love them. I don't wear them as often anymore just because I hate walking through stores with tile flooring and the only thing that you can hear is the clicking sound of this heel on the floor all the way through the store. I can't stand it. It's, I don't know, it just annoys me. Probably sounds amazing to most boot lovers, but as a practical guy, and using boots for what they need to be, so I absolutely hate these. Next. My next pair of boots I got for work, which are these ones, the Durango Rebel Pro. Went back to a different Western store um, that is in town that I go to all the time. And I grabbed a few pairs of boots I want to try. I want a square toe, something easy to work in, um, something with a rubber bottom that won't slip on cow crap on wet floors um you know and something with a smaller hip so i got these these are my work boots that i wear to work just about every single day they normally aren't this clean normally they're covered in dirt and poop and stuff but i clean them up so that i could bring them in they're still a little bit dirty but it's whatever. You're not going to get them perfectly clean, trust me. So, um, wasn't a big fan of the green color when I picked them up. Um, but after a while, it started growing on me. And I wasn't a big fan of the really wide square toe. But it's, it's like I said, it started growing on me. I got them more for practical use. Um, and because when I put them on, they were the most comfortable boot there. I didn't get them for the looks. Um, personally, I like a more narrow square toe. I still do. But these ones really kind of grew on me. And I wear them pretty much every single day um, when I'm at work. My next pair are these ones here. Which are the uh, Sport Herdsman boots by Ariat. These ones... Um, I didn't plan on buying. I went into the store to get a calf rope and they didn't have it. So I looked at their boot selection and my dad happened to be with me. And I said, hey, your birthday's coming up. Let's get some boots. So we got the same exact boot. Um, really, really nice. Stitching is really awesome on it. And I wanted a boot that wouldn't make a loud clicking noise so it's got a roper heel on it rubber bottoms so i don't slip and my favorite narrower small square toe it's got mesh lining on the inside of it and these are pretty comfortable um for walking around so these are my going out walking around boots um that I can also wear 
dressed up if I clean them. Um, so I could wear these pretty much anywhere, and I love them. Um, so me and my dad both got the same ones because, you know, boys got to stand in his pa's shoes. So, you know, go get the same. Uh, but we're pretty close, and I wanted to twin with them because it's just how we are. My next pair are the Circuit Patriot boots. And these ones um, were my first pair that I ordered online because I had that pair of Ariats, so I just got the same exact size. And these ones are more traditional. Um, they have a roper heel, um, a little bit wider of a square toe than the Herdsman. These are Circuit Patriot. They have a leather bottom, my only pair with a leather outsole. And they have leather on the inside rather than the mesh. And these ones have a 4LR insole, just like the, um, the Herdsman ones do, which I love. It has a little rivet on it to kind of massage your foot while you walk. Um, these ones have a cool distressed kind of brown, I call it the spider webbing effect or the crackle that I love to see. Um, and I do, I wore these ones to work a few times, um, not in cow crap or anything. I've worn them in the dirt, um, in the mud, and that's about it. They got wet quite often so I stopped wearing them um, on the farm and these ones um, because they didn't get all kinds of cow turds on them and stuff I cleaned them up and I wear these ones going out as well as the herdsman boots um, but these ones are more of a traditional and I wear them when I want to wear brown boots rather than a gray grayish black boot so when I want to wear brown, I wear these ones, and I like them. They kind of have the um, the Rambler style, only with the American flag, because I was looking at getting those ones, and I didn't like that they didn't have something on the shaft. It was just plain. Um, these ones are basically that boot, but with a little bit of bling, and God bless America, best country. So you got to rep it. My final pair of boots that I'll show you are these ones, which I got a while back as well. I don't wear these ones as often. These are the Sport Patriot. They had two flags. I took the one off the front because it just looked cheesy to me and just had the one on the back. Um, these ones, 4LR um, insole again. They actually have straw in them. I have worn these not to work on the farm, but I have worn them um, to work, but I haven't worn them while working. Uh, rubber bottoms, uh, camo shaft, which gets covered up so nobody sees it. And then the flag. Um, I absolutely love this boot. Roper heel as well. I love the roper heels, as you can tell. I don't like hearing click, 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 unless, so I, I mean, I only wear those ones riding a horse. These ones have uh, quite a wide square toe. Um, so I do wear the Sport Herdsman one a lot because I love the narrower square. My feet aren't that big, so I like fitting them nice and snug in there. So yeah, those are my boots. Um, I have really one pair that I really work in. Um, I've worked in three pairs of them, so you know, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Pretty fun stuff. Uh, that's what I got. That's why I have them. I hope to get more, just because they're awesome, and they go with literally almost everything uh, that you can wear. Unless you're in the city and wearing 
ripped up skinny jeans or your cross dresser or something because in that case they will not go with anything that you're wearing and even without cowboy boots even with whatever you're wearing if it's in that circumstance you're going to be ugly just saying i don't think anyone pulls off that look anyway those are my boots i hope you enjoyed this video I will come back to you with more boots once I get some more. Absolutely love them. I want to have all of them, but I can't. So those are what I have now. If you have not, make sure you go check out my unboxing of some Dale Brisby merch. Um, got two hats in the back there from it, and I still have the box in the back from it. It's a big old unboxing of a sale that he did which i bought some stuff for and it is an epic video it is a fun video got some pretty cool stuff you can see some of his newer designs you can see some of his older designs and yeah and aside from that check out my other videos see what belts i have see what buckles i have you'll see what boots i have just now you'll I'll take you on a trip through through my life working with cows, working with calves, milking. I'll tell, tell you all about it. So if you want to hear about what I do as a, a farmer, as a guy who ranches, as a guy who raise cat, raises calves, as a guy who punches out cows every day, I'll tell you all about it. So keep in touch. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I don't make any money off these videos. I don't plan on it. I don't really care for it. I just like making them. And I hope that you guys like watching them. So, catch you on the next one.